also called on the scalp braids. They can create a style all on their own or they can create the base for other extension patterns. The first step in creating your cornrows is to master your finger patterning. Once you have those techniques down, you're ready to begin picking up hair and incorporating that into your braid. The first step in creating your cornrows is to create your base track. Track placement is incredibly important because your braid will always follow your scalp parting. Design cornrows rely on this scalp parting to create the extensive flow within those braids. Make sure you use small rubber bands to tie the finer hairs away from your track braid. Let's begin braiding. To prepare the hair for braiding, we're going to use some ice spiker and some water. Just a little drop of the ice spiker. Then we're going to use the spray bottle to keep it watered down. We're just going to use a little bit of that and mix it around. And you want it to have a pretty light consistency. The gel itself is going to be too much for the hair to handle and it's going to be too thick. So we're just going to use a light amount and we're going to run that through the hair. That's going to create a nice tight grip hold. Be sure to wet down the ends of the rest of your hair and comb the hair in the track straight back. Separate your front section into three. And we're gonna use that same finger positioning that we used before. Pinch, grab, and rest. So separate those into three. Using your pinchers, grab the piece from the back, your grabbers, grab the piece from the front, and then position the third in that resting position. We're gonna do that for three to four turns to start our braid. Once you have your off scalp braid started, you're going to start picking up and incorporating that hair. Always pick up hair that you're directly over. Picking it up too far behind and too far forward will result in loops. And since I am right-handed, I'm placing everything into my left hand and not picking up with every turn. It's that same motion, pinch from the back, grab to the front, pinch from the back, grab from the front and you can always have so you can see with this you always have control since you always have control and it's always being held with one hand there's no reason to pull doing cornrows should never be painful there's no reason to get heavy-handed in there It's a good idea at certain points to stop, smooth out your ends so that your braids don't get too tangly. You can always smooth out the hair in the channel that you're working with. That'll make it easier to work with as well. And use that spiker for control as you need to. So pinch and grab. And incorporate that hair. Your speed will naturally improve with the more practice you have. Pinch and grab, pinch, grab. You can already see that braid starting to form. If you're creating a cornrowed halo, you can actually just place your rubber band at the base here. Or if you've completed your braid and you're ready to come off the scalp, you're just going to stop picking up hair. So we're gonna continue that same braiding motion, pinch and grab, but we're just not going to incorporate any further hair from the scalp. If you're doing design work, at this point, your braid can jump tracks. So you can stop here and pull it over to the next one and continue braiding down. That's how you create crossover cornrows. But we're just gonna continue braiding at this point, if it's more comfortable for you to braid in an underhand position rather than an overhand, you're going to take the fibers and transition your hands to a downward position. The braiding motion is still going to be the same. 
You're basically just going to be pushing the alternating sides to the back of the strand. Once you get to the ends of your hair, go ahead and band that off. Continue adding braids until you've reached your desired style.